This is the introduction to my answer for the Gary V Media Curveball Challenge. I'll explain what I mean in a moment. Let me introduce myself to begin with. I'm Jason Hobbs, Travis Jason Hobbs, but I go by Jason. Born January 13th, 1974, jasonhobbsllc.com. That's me, my mom, my dad. I tell you all that because in between the house on the corner here, which is 416 West Cypress Street, the 70 plus year home and work for the Hobbs family, right beside it in the green grass there in between the two houses is, or was, <laughs> another house and that's where the Hutto family lived for multiple years and during this time so when my mom was 16 and 17 I think she was living right next door to my dad and I came back in 2005 to be the primary caregiver for my grandparents grandma and grams and went back got my marketing degree and since that day which was May 8th of 2010, I've been here in my digital marketing lab here at 416 West Rifers. So the it's the Hobbs family home, etc. over 70 straight years, and that's Grandma, that's Hazel and Ken Hobbs. And those are my paternal parents, paternal grandparents, excuse me. Okay, so this is my first update explaining my answer to that curveball challenge, which I mentioned earlier. and. This comes from a YouTube video that Gary did, and, well, D-Rock, whatever, but he was in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and they were there for 25, 30 hours, I'm not sure exactly, but there was about seven hours of footage that they put out as one super vlog or whatever, and then at the end of it, though, Gary threw a curveball and said, hey, I'm hiring blah, blah, blah for Vayner X family, so download this, chop it up into... You know, micro content as your application to the Vayner X family or whatever team. So the challenge, oh yeah, well, <laughs> chop it up into micro pieces and then submit it at the GaryV.com forward slash Dubai. But I haven't seen that actually work. It's always 404 for me. So in, it's an application for entry to Vayner X world, which is in New York, Chattanooga, LA, and London. And I'm 12 years into my mission to make an impact on Fitzgerald, Georgia from the the home of my family. I mean, this business is my life's work. It's my humble portion of my grandparents' legacy, and it's my mom's retirement because she owns 50% of it. She's the only reason her helping fund me for the past 12 years is the only way that I've been able to bootstrap to where we still retain 100% of the um, equity at this point. Obviously, with all that said, I mean, I'm not moving to New York. I can't relocate. And they don't have remote work, I don't believe. So, and at the same time, I'm in the middle of building, and I'm really starting to build some momentum for Jason Hobbs LLC. So, but I still wanted to do this because on my month of December, basically, my clients aren't around. And I don't have a thousand clients right now anyway. However, 2019 is really looking good, but that's still time between now and then. I don't want to get rusty. So towards that end, I'm going through and I'm I'm treating it like a buffalo, so to speak. It's kind of how I look at content or media creation these days. So when I look at it, I say, okay, I'm going to take this seven hours of source video that he said to download, which I couldn't figure out, find a way to download it, but I got I got a way around it. And you know, I'm going to take that and I'm going to get as how many pieces, how many ways can I use that, right, from Gary's brand building point of view. This is his stuff, so we're looking at it from his brand. Based off of my experience, which has always been with small business owners, the first thing I did was I had to record the video. And so what I did was I used Ecamm Live, it's a Mac app, and fantastic and it finished at like 3:45 in the morning so it recorded like eight hours and 20 minutes or something and uh it's not yeah eight hours and 11 minutes and you know that is the very start of that video where i recorded it and you know when i woke up at 3:45, i checked and was thankful that it actually recorded and then 
from there, I stomped it and went back to bed, actually. <laughs> but <laughs> I did stop it. From there, now that I had this MP4 file, seven hour, huge file, I had to mark the clips. So what I wanted to do was go through and say, okay, from a producer's eye, how would I approach this? Where would I break it up? What are the pieces, the segments that are just naturally there that they've already put out, right? All right, so I made a physical note card. There's 72 total. Some of them are long. Like some of them have like 10 segments or whatever that are part of them. And what I'm having to do is I marked each of the clips. This is a screenshot, but it's of the full cut, right? And it's how I went through and I marked each of these. And I'm not done going through it. So you can see all of those different little purple tags across the top of the timeline, those are, each one of those is an individual, one of the 72 different markers, right? And each one starts, and then I've written down for each the time it starts and the time it ends, right? And then I have to export the clips. I cut that video into the 72 clips that I marked and just showed you, and I paste them into a separate iMovie project. So I go out of that iMovie project, go into a separate one, paste them, and then export them both an audio and a video only version. Well, you know, video version and an audio only version as well to use for podcasts, right? So here you can see all of the audio and, well, the, the first 12 or so. And as you can see from the video side, there's the 13, there's what, 10 of those. So, and that's just the naming convention I've used. So, I also, I created, so, you know, I have a bunch of them already, right? So I wanted to start kind of introducing them a little bit. I mean, it's, it's Christmas, so nobody's really around. I'm just, it's more of documentation is kind of how I'm looking at it, right? So documenting, here's what I would do and here's how I would approach it, right? So I put one up on LinkedIn and there's, at the time I took the screenshot, there'd been 44 views and one like, and it was taking one where, the, the way that I titled the clip, which is I think is 59 seconds, as far as when they're referring specific to in innovation, right? So ever been told that a marketing innovation was a fad? We all have. Gary Vaynerchuk shares how he's learned to handle it. This is the first piece of media, blah, 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 right? And that's the title of the, the full seven hour YouTube video. It's a day in the life of an American CEO and speaker touring Dubai. So. The fourth step is I'm going to, and I haven't done this yet because I haven't gotten to it, but piece together point of view videos. And I'm, the way that I'm approaching, I just wanted to look at it from a, something I had never seen from Team Gary V because I've watched all their stuff. <laughs> like most every Ask Gary V, I definitely have watched every Daily V and most of them multiple times, especially the um, 4Ds ones. Those are typically really good. And they're, they keep getting more and more meaty in my mind, like as they go forward. But I wanted to do it just from a different view. So I found four specific point of views, or I defined four based off of going through it multiple times through all seven hours worth. The first one is you run your own small business. The second point of view is that you run a marketing agency. And the third is you're a social media influencer already or the fourth is that you're aspiring to become a social media influencer. And an influencer, it's the same thing as a business owner in my mind. I mean, because you're building a brand and you have an audience, you have a following that you've built a proven, engaged connection with, right? And whether that's Gary V, whether that's VaynerX or whatever, any of the different parts of his portfolio or Jason Hopps LLC. All right. So the, the fifth step is I do the podcast episodes and I'm using anchor.fm to put together the episodes. It's free. And it also will, it distributes it to 10 different podcasting platforms automatically for me. And I'm using the 72 clips, the audio only version to build these. And so as you can see, I'm uploading, I'm in the anchor interface, it's just, just a screenshot. And then you can see, I can select the different ones. So I, I grabbed one that I wanted, which was the 12th one, two things companies are struggling with as we enter 2019. And it's actually by, I want to say it's Mahal, but I'm not sure. But she was the one, the guide, so to speak, for Gary over the course of this 27 hours on the ground in United Arab Emirates, 
Dubai, I think. Or right around Dubai. Dubai and around there or something. But anyway, I did a two, two minute and 18 second introduction to it where I rambled on. And, but I just wanted, this is a screenshot showing this is how you can build it within Anchor. It's really easy. You can see that the color corresponds. So like the red one means that I recorded it directly in the browser. The purple one means that I uploaded a MP3 file. And you can add, you can throw in some transitions and you can re have people record messages in direct response to you that you then play and then you record your message, a follow-up message and you know, so forth, right? All right, so, and as you can see, I, I just saved the episode, but I haven't even filled out any of the info, but you can also see the segments are shown over there as well. So the paid ad versions is the sixth part of what I'm doing and Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Instagram story ads, YouTube pre-roll ads are just the main version. I haven't done any of these yet. Uh, but I am planning on doing that as I move forward. Written articles, like I said, I'm putting together the four different point of view, right? I'm building those. And then I also have all the different clips that I've broken out. And each of those is around, it's really a Q&A approach. It's kind of how I broke everything up. So I take a question and the answer, someone that poses the question to Gary and the Gary answers it. Just cut that out and have that in a completely separate clip so that I could work in around it if I wanted. Or I, what I wanted to do was put them into a specific order for, from the perspective of an individual point of view, the owner of a small business from Gary's point of view. Like how does his information help that person and with their branding, with their marketing and all. And did the same thing from an influencer's perspective and the same thing from a, a specifically a marketing director. You know, if you're, especially if you're dealing with creative and media, then you're really going to get a lot of benefit from basically just kind of eavesdropping on Gary and learning from what he's learned from experience. So the images with quotes, it's another thing. I did an example. So, you know, empathy, because we're all 99.99% the same. That was based off of listening to all of the, the seven hours so many times. Because it's so definitely this, that's tied. That's a fair representation. And that's a screenshot behind that. The very first thing that they go to is the radio station and it, within the seven hour videos. And I shared it as well on, you know, like I was saying, I'm kind of documenting that I'm doing some stuff as I go. And I'm not really looking for anybody to see it yet because I figure between now and the end of the year, now and probably the beginning, first half of January, you're gonna have different people coming back at different times, right? So, but they'll still have interest later is the goal. All right, so if you have questions, Jason at jasonsllc.com, that's my number. Feel free to text me. I am about to go and work on, well, I'm gonna have to publish this video and then I'm going to be, oh, I have to go back and finish doing all of the audio and video pieces. So one project into the next project and paste it there and make sure that I understand how I'm gonna title that or headline it, so to speak, and then, finally export it and the audio version separately and then head back over and figure out, okay, where's the next marker from this and look at my notes and listen to it the first time and go through multiple listenings to make sure the headline that I like or that I'm going to go with is the first version and then export. So there's a lot of repetition to it.